Hey guys, what's going on? It is 7 Meets Nick here from 7 meetsnickcom bringing you guys another Windows Home tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to remove old device drivers from Vista in Windows 7. Now, we're going to be using the device manager in a second, so let me just minimize that to show you an example. But before I even go into the tutorial, I'm going to give you guys a brief um, information on why this happens and uh, what causes, you know, stuff like that. So one of the most annoying issues with Windows is when your hardware manufacturer fails to provide a proper driver for op the operating system. This happens a lot. Even when you do find the proper driver, sometimes the manufacturer releases an updated version which you then need to install on top of the older version which can sometimes be a pain in the ass. As if that's not enough, every version of Windows from the past 10 years or so, including server versions, will retain the old driver binaries even if you upgrade or change the hardware. Now there's a huge logical explanation behind this behavior. For example, if you're using a removable USB disk drive, which has once been plugged in, Windows will install the appropriate driver for it. When you eject that drive, Windows retains the driver so that they will be ready the next time you connect the drive. But what about replacing a video adapter, a network interface card, a printer that has been thrown away? What about working with a laptop that was once used to connect to an external device and has not used that device since? What happens to that driver if you never connect that device to your computer again? But within time, your computer will gather an increasing number of unused drivers that's not only taking space on your hard disk, but having still be installed. They might cause problems if they are somehow enabled, and in some cases, they can also cause hardware conflicts. And to make things even worse, when you do want to use the same device after a long period of inactivity, even if you reinstalled an updated version of the driver, Windows might still use the older version of it. So how do you remove these old and unused drivers? So let me show you. Alright, so before I show you, sorry, I just dropped my iPod, before I show you how to do this, I'm going to go into my device manager, which I have open right now, and we're going to be focusing on the universal serial bus controllers. When you expand that, you'll see you'll see this. Well, probably not uh, the same as mine, but similar. As you can tell, I have like seven uh, root, USB root hubs, but when after I do this tutorial, you'll notice some stuff that wasn't even in here before. And that's our unused drivers, and we're going to basically uninstall them or remove them. So first things first, go to Start. Right-click on Computer and go to Properties. And then go to Advanced System Settings. The System Properties window will come up. Under the Advanced tab, click the Environment Variables button. The Environment, var uh, sorry, the environment Variables window will come up. Let me delete this because I already have it. All right, go ahead and click on the New button right here. All right, and now what we got to do, um, well, you have to do is I made it simple for you guys. Just go ahead and go in the description box to the right and copy the variable name in the description box so you're good to go. But for me, I got to actually type it out. So give me one sec. I'm going to actually type a little bit slow just to make sure I'm spelling everything right. All right, there we go. And for the variable value, just go ahead and put in one and press OK. Uh, environment variables window, press OK. And then system properties window, press OK. And close out of the system window. Once that's done, go ahead and log off and log back on. So I'll be right back. All right, so I am back from logging off and logging back on. Now, once you're logged back on, just go back to the start menu and in the search uh, box or field here, just go ahead and type in um, device manager. And here it is right here, device manager. All right, let me center this really quick. And once device manager windows open, go ahead and expand universal serial bus controllers. All right, once that's expanded, go to view and then show hidden devices. Now, as you can tell, wait, that's the sound. As you can tell, we have a few extras under the universal serial bus controllers. Now, these these three right here, which is my printer, um, iPod device driver, which I have not used in a while. But other than these, unknown device, all these other stuff, I'm basically going to get rid of. So, 
all these gray items here, just go ahead and right click and choose uninstall and everything should go ahead and clean. So let me go ahead and install. All right, and there you go, it's done. That That's how simple it is. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to uninstall un or unused um, drivers in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. So um, I'm 7 from 7 I totally failed right there. You can find way more tutorials on 7 But um, yeah, thanks for checking out. Rate it, subscribe it, comment it. And uh, if you subscribe, I'll subscribe back just for the hell of it anyway, for your support. So um, thank you. Adios.